And so many kids are excited about the launch today of Mr. Peabody and Sherman. I have a date with my girls tomorrow, but so excited as well as Stephen Colbert. He talked to Josh about how this new project gave him the chance to indulge his childhood passion for cartoons. Take a look. He's best known for his sharp wit and the trademark brand of political humor on the Colbert Report. The Republicans are on record as trying to deport Dora. <laughs> they condemn SpongeBob as a form of birth control. But Stephen Colbert's latest animated role in Mr. Peabody and Sherman is less political bite and more affectionate nod to an old childhood favorite. But your name is Bullwinkle. Rocky and Bullwinkle. What was your relationship with it as a child? I was a wee lad and I would sneak in. I'm one of 11 kids and I'm the youngest. And so I would sneak in and kind of hide among my other brothers and sisters to be able to stay up to watch it. It was on at night, actually. It wasn't on during the day. And um, I loved it. Mr. Peabody and Sherman were two of my favorite things in it. Here, Sherman. Here, boy. And he was intent to share that joy with his three kids. As soon as it was available on DVD, I got it from my kids and I said, you can watch this as much as you want. <laughs> Wear them out. The movie follows the exploits of that brainy dog, Mr. Peabody, and his human sidekick, Sherman, using their way back time machine. So what did the kids think? Oh, they were thrilled. They were like, are you Mr. Peabody? I'm like, no. No. <laughs> so tell us about your character. Dad. I'm Paul Peterson. Stay away from me, Peabody. My daughter, Penny Peterson, is a friend of Sherman's, and they get into a, a tiff at school, and we come over to meet with Sherman's dad, who I didn't know he was actually a dog. I thought it was a metaphor. <laughs> And for someone who thrives on the manic energy of a live audience. You're barking up the wrong tree, mister. The intimacy of a recording booth was an entirely different experience. He's got my daughter inside that giant space apple. It is, though, it's always something I'm, I would assume as a yeah. performer, something of a jarring thing that you're never actually... No, you never actually see, see each other. anybody. No, you hear other people's performances, but for the first... I don't know, for the first four times you record, it's just you in a room. My face is numb. The nice thing is that they're laughing in the booth. The director and the producers are there, and um, it's actually a lot of fun. The comedic prowess that is Colbert, not just limited to his show or the movie screen, but also evident in his recent role as Pistachio Pitchman. Pistachio, Pistachio, wait for it. Pistachio. None of that was CGI, by the way. Yeah, he's but, in there. The, 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 the green fellow's I in there. I trained for, for months <laughs> to split my head open. That was not a real eagle? I'd rather not say. Because if it's an actual real eagle, um, that's a federal that's offense. A it's, well, it's against the law to keep a captive eagle yes. for entertainment purposes. So if it was an actual eagle, then um, I'm a fugitive. The commercial was a fan favorite and marketing gold during a Super Bowl that attracted some 115 million viewers. It was the most watched television event in the history of the medium. Well done. Well, is that the best? Uh, that do? was the worst. Are we wait, gonna, wait, 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 the backhand. There you go. Then backhand. Then like this. That's so why I want to be an athlete. like that. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh, he's so much fun. Mr. Peabody and Sherman in theaters everywhere beginning today.